Hello, my name is Dr. Max Gowland. I'm the founder of Prime 50. Um, I just saw this interesting article in the Daily Mail this morning about supplements. Yet again, more confusion. Which vitamins are really worth taking? Experts settle the supplement dispute once and for all. Of course, it's never that easy to um, get a definite conclusion in this highly, highly complex subject of nutrition. But what I wanted to do very quickly, and I want to specialize on the over 50s, because this is what Prime 50 specializes on, is give you just four or five very simple facts which might help you make your mind up. Um, first of all, over 50s really do not get their recommended daily intake of nutrients from their diet alone normally. There will be some people who do, but that is few and far between. If you look at the food intake, diet and nutrition survey that's been conducted in the UK and indeed many other countries around the world, most over 50s are simply not getting enough from their meals. In addition, uh, if you take some of the macros such as protein, protein again, um, we do not get enough protein from our diet. Um, if you talk to the top scientists with the most recent uh, data, they will say very clearly that as you age you need more protein and the recommended intake of protein is nearer 90 to 100 grams a day rather than the old-fashioned 60 grams a day. And getting 100 grams uh, on a daily basis is actually quite difficult. It's three or four chicken breasts or it's about 18 eggs. That's not very easy to do. Second point is that experts who really know what they're doing are now actually starting to recommend that we do supplement. I think a good example is the NHS that tell us nearly all of us should supplement with vitamin D, especially during the winter because we are quite deficient and that is such an important uh, vitamin. Uh, not all of us like oily fish um, and therefore a lot of us will not get enough omega-3 oils in our diet and even vitamin B12 uh, is a good example of a vitamin which as we age we tend not to absorb particularly well because of lack of stomach acid. Also as we age our ability to absorb nutrients becomes less effective so the need to supplement makes absolute sense. And the main takeout from the Daily Mail article, as far as I'm concerned, is that we should not be taking mega doses of pure vitamins or pure minerals, uh, as these can actually become quite toxic at high levels. And finally, over 50s, I think would be much better to take a properly formulated product, such as those offered by uh, Prime 50, who specialise in over 50s nutrition. Uh, if you want to have a look at more details, have a look at the website at prime50.co.uk. Thank you, and I'll see you again.